Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell bins for an update. Um, so I just wanted to bring you guys along. I'm gonna set up my camera and we will take a peek and see how they're doing on that blended food that we gave them. All right, so here we are in the sand bin and you can see the paper here is starting to disintegrate. The worms are eating it, I guess from underneath. So I just wanna turn everything up a little bit and then we'll take a look at our feeding area. I am noticing a lot more springtails, but that's not really an issue. Not immediately seeing cocoons. I do see a lot of condensation on the walls, but um, the compost itself feels nice and flaky, uh, not too dry, so I think we're fine. smells nice and earthy that's what you want in your compost should never smell I mean obviously the food you put in may smell but um, once it's decomposing it should not smell at all it should just smell like um, the earth so this coconut core is well worked over really everything in here looks great but I'm not not seeing a whole lot of cocoons so let's just oh Big guy down there. Let's take a peek at our feeding area where we gave the blended food. And I can see lots and lots of springtails going to town down there. I'll keep it zoomed in for a second. I can see some remnants. but it looks like the worms pretty much worked through it and moved on. So I think our population is growing and we probably need to feed them a little bit more generously. And that's probably why we saw worms spread out a good deal. but everything looks really nice and healthy in here. So I'm gonna level everything out. We'll take a look at the eggshell bin and then we will feed both of these bins up because it looks like they're pretty much out of food. Okay, so here we are with the eggshell bin. Same deal, the paper's disintegrating a lot. The worms are really seeming to start to eat on that. There's a cocoon, it looks like. Regardless of if we see cocoons, um, we're definitely seeing baby worms. So we know that they are reproducing and doing well in here. And that reddish color cocoon that I keep, that I saw, the two of them, that means they're close to hatching. They, when they're first laid, they're a yellowish, uh, almost green color, and they darken until they hatch when they are like a deep red. But overall, it looks nice in here. A few cocoons about. Worms are kind of spread throughout, so it's looking looking nice. So let's see about their feeding area. I'll zoom in a little bit. These worms seem to still be working a little bit.
those little thread like worms over here those are pot worms they kind of thrive in acidic conditions but they're not necessarily anything to worry about unless you have them in really high numbers oh i almost missed it there's a yellow yellow cocoon i thought darn well i missed it but it does look like there's a good number of cocoons lots of worms and again they're they're nearly nearly finished in here so i'm spotting a good number of cocoons here in the eggshell bin more so than the sand although that doesn't mean they're not there so let me grab a little something we'll quickly get these guys fed up and leave them for another week i feel like the bin is finally really taking off and i'm quite excited to see these guys continue to get to work so hopefully we can have a booming population soon and try to see if there is in fact a difference between the eggshell and the sand bins. Okay, so I'm gonna start feeding the eggshell bin first just since we already had this one open and ready. So I'm gonna feed right in the middle, try to get all of these worms to kind of move in to the same area for us. So I just cleared out an, an area here and I'm gonna lay down some bedding first because I have a very wet blended feeding today. And since these worms are devouring that newspaper, I thought they could probably benefit from a little bit of extra bedding today. So, here we go. And I have um, one cup of food here. This is mainly celery, onion, and bell pepper. There was one banana in the mix as well. Um, but I think that would be very enticing, and this is kind of upping uh, the size of our feeding since it seems like the worms are working through it pretty quickly. Looks like there's a little guy right underneath of it right now. So um, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of our eggshells. Eh, maybe I'll add a full teaspoon. So there's a full teaspoon now of eggshell and I'm just going to loosely cover this with the existing castings. Again that blocks out any sort of bugs, smells, and brings those microbes right into the new food so they can get to work. I'm just going to take our disintegrating paper, lay that across the top as well, and let's hop over. We will do it to the um, sand bin. All right, so here we are with the sand bin. Um, I already put the bedding in, and now I'm just gonna add the cup of our blended food. And a few people have asked me what the purpose is of this experiment. I think some people may have missed it at the beginning. I have some new subscribers, so I thought I'd quickly tell you guys what the basis was, um, was for this experiment. And that was that, um, People say that calcium is important for cocoon production in worms. So I wanted to see, here's our sand, see if I saw a noticeable difference if I used eggshell, which is kind of the go-to um, grit source for worms because they have a gizzard and they need to break down the food in their gut. Um, of course, there are some foods that have high amounts of calcium in them, but I thought that solely using eggshell in one and sand in the other, there would be a significant amount more calcium in the eggshell bin. And I wanna see um, at the end of this experiment if there's a difference in the populations. So that's what this is all about. So um, we're gonna leave it for another week. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.